Allow your mind to settle on the breath and see how long you can stay here. We live in a world that's not very quiet. There's a lot of disturbance, which is all the more reason why you should try to make your mind quiet. Not simply to run away from the world, but because your actions come out of your mind. And you want to make sure that your actions are well considered, even though other people may be running around saying all kinds of crazy things. You want to make sure you're not one of them. Because after all, what you do is going to come back at you, in addition to affecting the people around you. So you want it to come from a good place. So see if you can keep the mind stable. In life, we balance all the things, so it's like being a juggler. If the juggler is standing on something that's solid, then the juggler has a much better chance of keeping all his balls and all his pins and all his other juggling equipment in the air. If the ground is unstable, then it's very unlikely that it's going to be able to do that. So keep the mind stable. And then when you're about to do something, ask yourself, what's the most skillful thing to do right here, right now? And don't go just by your moods. Go by what you think will give good long-term results. Because we're in this for the long term. As the Buddha said, it's because developing skillful qualities leads to long-term welfare and happiness. That's why he taught it. And the same for abandoning unskillful qualities. It leads to long-term welfare and happiness. Even when it gets to the more refined teachings like not-self, he says, the things that are really not yours, why hold on to them? And it'll be for your long-term welfare and happiness if you can learn to let go. So it's all for your happiness. Sometimes it seems like the Buddha had more concern for our happiness than we do. We go by our moods. Whatever we feel like doing, we do. Whatever we feel like saying, we say. We open our mouth and whatever comes out, sometimes we're not even sure what will come out. We just open it up without any plan. And we can see the harm that comes from that. And the Buddha saw the harm that comes from that, so he kept repeating this over and over again. This is one of his categorical teachings. Skillful qualities should be developed, unskillful ones should be abandoned. And by skillful he meant the things you do and say and think that would lead to your long-term welfare and happiness. So the Buddha is concerned about your happiness. It's good that you show some concern, too. An important part of being skillful is being quiet enough so you can see what's right and what's wrong. Have a clear sense of the directions. And come from a place where you're strong enough so that when you see what's right, you do it. When you see what's wrong, you don't do it. And a mind that's been still with a sense of well-being, that's the basis for your strength.